students this is the sixth video about metallurgy our topic ammonia leaching in this ammonia leaching process it is applicable for nickel copper and co metallic ores okay initially the nickel copper and co metallic ore is crushed and treated with aqueous ammonia under suitable pressure okay so here aqueous ammonia it means ammonium hydroxide i mean ammonia gas which is soluble into a water so now only we have aqueous ammonia so the aqueous ammonia it is mixed with nickel ore or copper ore in the suitable pressure here ammonia selectively leach this metal i mean ammonia going to react with metal directly and to form the soluble complexes if we have nickel metal is present if we have nickel metal is present i mean in our ore have a nickel metal in this nickel metal is directly combined with ammonia to form a nickel ammonia complex similarly copper ammonia complex and cobalt ammonia complex respectively here the impurity gang particle is there isn't it here it is the gang particle is iron 3 oxide i mean ferric oxide okay and also uh, iron hydroxide iron metal it is generally a gang particle from a nickel ore copper ore okay that's why our gang particle it may be have iron 3 oxide iron hydroxide and uh, iron aluminum silicate okay see here iron 3 oxide iron hydroxide and aluminum silicate all are a gang particle it may be uh, leaving behind the ore okay so it is a very very important uh, technique but in this uh, technique i mean ammonia leaching process is only applicable for nickel copper and co metallic ores just you see the uh, reaction initially we are going to taking a ore okay uh, this is called as a pneumatic i mean a pink color uh, reaction is there isn't it this is called as a pneumatics nickel or copper or co metallic ore which is crushed and mixed with aqueous ammonia just introduce into the suitable pressure or maintaining we are a, we are maintaining a suitable pressure to get a soluble complexes if we have a nickel metal nickel ammonium complex this is a soluble substance similarly copper ammonium uh, complex it is also a soluble one similarly cobalt ammonium Uh, substances this is also a soluble complex but the impurity all are retained in the form of a insoluble impurity so again we are going to do the uh, filtration process to, sep to separate it okay so our next topic is here alkali leaching just you see here alkali leaching it is also one of the concentration process of a impure ore into pure ore in this alkali leaching process it is suitable or alkali leaching process it is only suitable for bauxite ore of bauxite ore this is we are all very well know that it's a ore of aluminium so here it is we are going to discuss okay alkali leaching here the ore is treated with aqueous alkali to form a soluble complex the ore is treated with aqueous alkali to form a soluble complex already i told you leaching process it is nothing but our metallic ore soluble by using a suitable solvent isn't it so that's why the ore is treated with aqueous alkali here the solvent it is aqueous alkali okay the ore is treated with aqueous alkali to form a soluble complex so this is a process okay just you see here so this is the reaction type is there isn't it 
this is called as a pneumatics okay so our bauxite ore is crushed and grind well the powdered bauxite ore it is mixed with solution of sodium hydroxide or solution of sodium carbonate okay solution of sodium hydroxide or solution of sodium carbonate in this mixture just you maintain of about 470 to 520 kelvin under 35 atmospheric pressure in this mixture maintain in several hours after the maintenance or after the several hours we have a two component here the soluble component sodium meta aluminate and the impurities iron and uh, titanium oxide here it is impurity uh, both are present in a container okay the soluble sodium meta aluminate and uh, insoluble iron and titanium oxide both are present in a container now in this container containing a mixture is a resonant it just you allow to cool and dilute diluted neutralized by carbon dioxide gases okay so our container containing a mixture it belongs to 470 kelvin temperature so it's so hot so now in this mixture containing a substances or mixtures it may be introduced into the cooling process and after that we are adding carbon dioxide we are passing carbon dioxide gas in this carbon dioxide gas is going to neutralize it's going to neutralize to form hydrated aluminum oxide or hydrated alumina i mean uh, hydrated alumina it means aluminum i mean al2o3 and water both are combinedly present that's why it is called as hydrated alumina we uh, hydrated alumina and uh, such a hydrated alumina is introduced into the 1670 kelvin temperature to get pure alumina pure alumina it means al2o3 only okay so this is a alkali leaching process during the alkali leaching process what is the chemical reaction just you see here al2o3 solid aluminum uh, hydroxide i mean bauxite ore in this bauxite ore is mixed with uh, uh, solution of a sodium hydroxide now bauxite ore is combined with sodium hydroxide in the presence of water to form sodium meta aluminate so uh, sodium meta aluminate is a soluble one i mean this is only a liquid in state okay so the impurities iron and titanium oxide it is all are removed by filtration process okay so now sodium meta aluminate only present in a container in this container containing a mixture just allow to pass a carbon dioxide gas to react well uh, here the process is called a neutralization process uh, whenever the carbon dioxide gas it is going to combine with sodium meta aluminate consist a sodium and uh, hydrogen to form a sodium bicarbonate okay so sodium bicarbonate and also hydrated alumina this is called as hydrated alumina here it is x is the reason it al2o3 dot x h2o here x it means uh, a number of moles of water maybe one mole or two mole as like okay so hydrated alumina which is introduced into the heating process of about 1670 kelvin to get a pure alumina and water is there isn't it such a water it may be removed by the evaporation okay so we have end of the alkali leaching process we have a pure alumina it is introduced into the further metallurgical process to get a pure aluminium metal okay 